In this video, I'll show you how to get this shop UI for your map using Verse. First of all, I got the original code from this channel, but I modified it to use trackers to save the items bought by each player. It's probably not the most efficient way, but I never really checked how Verse Persistence works. If you know how to use it, it should be easy for you to change how the code saves the data. For me, I used trackers. Here, I show you the settings for each tracker. We have a tracker for the points or money the player will use, five trackers to check if the player owns an item, zero means no, one means they own it, and one more tracker that tells us which item is equipped for that row of items. The trackers for the second row work exactly the same way. In the code, all you need to do is change these icons to the ones you are using, update these values to set the prices you want, and adjust the row length if needed. At the end of the code, you'll find the function that handles what happens when a player clicks a button. You have the player value, which is info.player, and the index which ranges from zero to the number of buttons minus one, so you can identify which button was clicked. I also left some comments in the code, but if you need any help, feel free to leave a comment. If you need a thumbnail for your map, I can make one for you. It will only cost $10 for the first couple of orders, so if you like my style, you can get yours at the first link in the description.